the James and Greg Show. Hello, everybody. We're back. James and Greg Show. And we're here to do something we've never done before. We're getting a day advance notice, uh, if you will. We're actually starting our show a day in advance because, James, yeah. they're having a picnic down there, people, down the street there on my block here in Inglewood, California, where I was raised, and they're calling it a backyard boogie without telling me about it. What do you think about that? I think they want to surprise you. Oh, probably, but I doubt it. We're going to surprise them, however. We're going to show it with our camera, dude. I think that we should do that because some of these people that are coming to this backyard boogie I haven't seen in years. And I'm talking about just a few years because I'm not that old. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> hey, but listen. Hey, James. Yeah. You've heard of, like, Laker greats and actors that did had done stuff with Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff like that. Oh, wow. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Well, I can't give you any names, so you answered correctly. But I hear those type of people will be there. So we have to get that. And like I tell you, everybody, this is the real reality TV here, people. We don't have any scripts. We don't like prep people about what we're going to ask them we come straight from the hip bam 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 because that's how i think it has to be spontaneous or it's not the james and greg show baby we get people that think that they've done some major things in the world and we catch them candidly right baby right and this here evil genius director photography guy will catch anybody in motion this is your guy right here man if you want anybody filming anything it's this guy ask and him who's on camera right now it's you. That's me. I'm, right <laughs> I'm actually manning the camera while we're talking. You see, look what I'm going to tell you. Oh, God. He's an octopus. He has, like, major arms. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm manning it out of my pocket right here. I was going to tell him. It's a remote in his pocket, people. But listen, you guys got to stay with us because the Backyard Boogie Oogie, and from what I hear, is going to be a real big deal. It's just, like, third annual deal, and I've got to catch this because I hear there's everybody that we're, like, somebody – Back in the day, they're going to be here. And I want you all to see these people candidly and hear what they got to say about being a part of this particular picnic, barbecue, whatever they want to call it. Uninvited, man. That's un that's not cool. Uh, no, no, it's not cool. But not it, cool. we're going to make it cool. We're going to make it cool. So listen, you stay tuned to the James and Greg Show. And as I said, we will always bring you the best, the most real TV out there in the entire world. So stay tuned. We love you. And you better love us. These are the things that change boy to me Growing up can be a pain You're not a man until you grow a man Giving up our teenagers In the effort to pursue our career Of having to suffer our family Who's protecting us from Is there anyone around That we can try So and to sue my questions Greg 
Mario Glass, your guy, and James and Greg show coming to you again with some unrealistic reality. Can you understand that? Well, what I mean by unrealistic, because none of you people would have ever thought to do a backyard boogie interview. No, why? Because it's Labor Day, and you never know who will show up in the backyard on Labor Day. We have everybody here, people, but I'm gonna interview them and show you exactly who we have here. Hi, I understand that you're here at the Backyard Boogie, and uh, this is its uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixteenth, what year is it? This is our third annual Backyard Boogie. Now, you're from Inglewood, California, right? All day. They say Inglewood's up to no good. What? This looks good to me. It is good. It is good. So, should everybody want to be here? Yeah, they should. They should want to be here, but not everybody's invited. So, how do you get invited? You got to be down with Inglewood for life. <laughs> Inga Wolf Life, and what is your name? My name is Diana Bell Howard. Diana Bell Howard. Class of 79. Class of 79, you look like you're 21. That's right, let me get a little bit of a Holla. All right, thank you. Thank you. Let's move around. Come on, follow me. So we got a domino game here. Yes. You don't know about dominoes. And they're red. I don't know if that has anything to do with Inglewood, but they are definitely oh yeah, that's all. That's red, red dominoes. So he said that's why they're red. That's right. So this man here is uh, Juan. That's me. In English, that's John. How you doing? That's right. I believe the last name is Russell. Keeping it real. Russell, Juan Russell from Inglewood, Morningside, all that good stuff. So Juan, is this your uh, idea? No, that's me and uh, Phil Moore, Phil Shores thing. It's our third annual uh, Labor Day Backyard Boogie. We do it. We gonna, It's getting bigger, bigger and bigger every day, every year. You so know? how do you get on the list, man? You don't. How did you get here? You just got here. You just showed up. You trying to catch so it does, does it cost anything to come? No, nah, just yourself, man. Good living, good people, you know, good times. That's all it costs. But I see you got a lot of food and everything. That's free? Yeah, that's free. Now, that's free. <laughs> that's free. Ron Russell, y'all. So what right. do you got to say? about like next year what is it gonna bring more food more people what's up bigger and better baby you know what I'm saying we just trying to build on what we got this is love right here friendship we've been together for years over 30 years all of us so who's your friend who's your friend to the right here this man right here that's Andre Newman right there oh, man that's well, my Andre family Newman. I'm gonna even say yeah, friend Andre Newman I'm I'm on like true and true and we all family friends it's always gonna be like this until we all leave this world thank God for all of us so where you from Andre I'm from um, uh, Los Angeles, California, but I grew up in Inglewood with everybody here. You go to Morningside High? Yeah, yeah. Morningside, uh, Woodworth, Monroe, Morningside, and we all family and friends. Yeah. Are you winning this domino game, brother? Uh, this young lady to my, to my right, Lisa, is kind of... Byron then got her mad. Now Lisa. she's taking, her, taking it out on her. No, Lisa. that's Val right Lisa here. Wilson. That's Lisa. Oh! That's Lisa Wilkinson. No, Lisa. What is your name, Miss? Right 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 How are you? I'm great. What's your name? Valerie. Valerie, I thought she was winning. No, not like that. That's Lisa. So I got the wrong Lisa. Yeah. I'm not a Lisa at all. That's the only Lisa. I know you're on the freeway. So let me ask you, did you go to Morningside? Yes, I did. How was it? Morningside was the bomb. I thought is that, is that why you're here today? No, I'm here because uh, <laughs> Philip invited me and Juan invited me. And it's free food. That's why food, y'all. That's what was said. Y'all related. That's right. <laughs> y'all related to food? Family related. Oh, okay, okay. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. What about next year? You coming? Uh, Who's after me? Can I come? 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 Can I come
Yeah, if you can. <laughs> I'll be here, y'all. What kind of sports you play, Rucker? Basketball, baseball, football. I've done it all. What are you doing right now? Right now, I'm here at the barbecue enjoying all my Monarch classmates. In honor of, uh, you know, B. Scott. It's good to see old Greg here. And I'm just here chilling out, enjoying myself, just having a good time. And that's how we do it. And that was a trick question. You got an A for that right answer, because I meant at present. Right. I got you, man. It's all good. Much love. Alan Rucker, y'all. Alan Rucker. So, B. Scott, I'm just you here at the I'm back. Away from cameras, that's all. I know that. <laughs> but this is just the backyard boogie stuff. This is us. This is nothing else other than us, baby. So how do you feel growing up in Inglewood next door to or close to this guy? <laughs> well, Muggs and McGurk was my roommate for years back in the day. You know, we stayed together and played ball together and you know tried to hold it down at the uh, at, at side and do what we do. You know, did so he it's have always a, good. Did he have a jumper? He had a jumper now. <laughs> he, could shoot, he couldn't shoot it like me, but he had a jumper. <laughs> I never know that nigga having a jumper. I he know he jumper. played. I was there. He had a he jumper. He played on the JV team, he too. Had a and he played varsity. I was impressed. But I never thought he had a jumper. <laughs> no, he had a jumper. He had a jumper. It was nice. It was nice. He just didn't have a jumper like B. Scott had, but he had a jumper. He could make some shots on you. Yeah, B. Scott, we know. We know. We, I've seen the jumper <laughs> develop. Hey, man, but listen, this is the third annual. Backyard boogie. What do we got to do to be here, man? Y'all got to talk to Phil. That's what y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> this is Phil Shore's third year anniversary of having the backyard boogie, and all, it's, it's only Morningside alumnus here that can be here. Class of '79, '78, '77. And, and you know what? It's good because we get a chance in '80. Okay, in '80. <laughs> And we get a chance to see people that we hadn't seen in a while. So this is always like a, a good family reunion. And we all enjoy it, so it's a good time. Excellent, Coach Scott, my man. And watch out for Eugene Phelps. I keep hearing about him. I keep hearing about him. I got to see this young man play. You will. All right, we'll be back. So I want to talk to you, Mr. Jump Shot. What's happening there, fella? What's oh, this, the, the hit I, and run club? Can I call you Othello? You can call me whatever you want to call me. Don't call me you late for lunch. Answer, you can't. <laughs> All right, Buggy, listen. I don't know about that jump shot, but see, I went to a lot of morning side games, and you was playing. Do you miss them days, baby? Actually, man, you know what? No, because we get together like this, and... <laughs> It's all back in the day, so you know you gotta move on, and you know we're getting old now. We can't go living in the past. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gray hair, man. That's just some soda pop you left on your mustache and milk. <laughs> no, man, that's knowledge. It's knowledge and wisdom, and I think mine looks the best that everybody's out here. Uh, what year you graduate? '79. Best, best year. Best year to come out of Morningside. He said the best year, y'all know. You got '79. You got '77. You got '80. You got '85, '92. You got '99, man. Why is that the best? Now, None of them matter. 79 is it. Always will be. We set the mold. So did a classmate from 79 do this party here? It's all 79 right here. Except for you. <laughs> See, I was graduated in 1992, people. So you do understand. I'm a youngster compared to you. Wow. <laughs> we gotta move on on that. Yeah, you better move on that one. <laughs> you know, that's a big deal. He got a big plate here, three of bones. Yeah, I'm sorry to come here and eat. With some ground beef in it, macaroni yeah. and cheddar cheese. Let me ask you this thing. Yes, sir. I understand you moved to Georgia at one yes, point. Yes, sir. How was that? There. I'm still there. What's Georgia about, man? Oh, I love it, man. Hard work, hustling, brother. Everybody out there just nice. hustling pretty much. But you ain't got Inglewood. Oh, no. That's why I'm out here. That's yes, right. Inglewood, yeah. they say we up to no good. What does that mean, man? I mean, we do whatever it takes to get by back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. But nobody was trying to hurt you. Oh, no, ain't nobody. Never. We all here. We ain't allowed nobody no violence or nothing, really. Because <laughs> you know you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's right. That's right. That's right. So that say something, people. We still here from, what, 1979, right? Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. That's a long time ago, folks. Anyway, Stacey. So Georgia. And then uh, what you do down there? Oh, I got landscaping built. Doing a little landscaping, huh? I'm independent, man. To work for himself, y'all. We all need more y'all understanding that. Self uh, employment, people, and then he can employ somebody else. That's right. That's right. <laughs> y'all come see me. So, what's up with Phillips' uh, backyard boogie, man? Oh, uh, man, you know how it's gonna go. <laughs> y'all gotta turn that camera off after a while. <laughs> that was Stacey O'Hara, y'all. What's up? We got Billy Christian here, folks. Now, this goes a long way back. Class of what? 79. 79 again. They tell me 79 is the best year. You had any complaints? Uh, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I was happy about it. I should have been in 78, though. <laughs> you 
he should have been in 78 when he would have been 78 when you're mine. But 79, it's been brought, uh, this is brought together by Philip Shores. How'd you hear about it, man? Uh, Phil hit me up. Said, hey, Bill, we ain't seen you in a while. Come on out. I said, yeah. You stopped, with, you stopped it with everything you were doing and came on out here? Dropped everything. <laughs> Dropped everything. Because you knew it would be the bomb? I knew it was going to be the bomb. Now this Backyard Boogie thing is in its third annual year and this is going to be something they do every year. You going to be here next year, man? Absolutely. Absolutely. Looking for you. I'm a, <laughs> I'll try to be here, baby. <laughs> hey, Billy Christian, y'all. So, Billy, you still keep teaching the kids, man? Yeah, I'm teaching. Yeah. Yep. See, see, that's what Morningside produces, y'all. Inglewood, California. He's teaching the young how to go on and better their lives. And I'm sure you've got some people that you're proud of out there, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Any of them kids make a mark in the world? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. We got some Rhodes Scholars. We got some athletes. We got, yeah, we got people. No, you know. Doing their thing, thanks to this man here, Mr. Billy Christian. Hey man, have a good time. I'm gonna ask you two this good question because this is a nice spread. You got a nice spread of food, people are welcoming to your establishment. Okay. And I just want to know, who helped with the funding? Uh, oh, no, no, it was lots of help. Everybody pitched in. Lots of help. We don't do this by ourselves, you know. We do, we do it, everybody pitched in. They was here at 6 o'clock in the morning, burning just like everybody else. So time is money. Dude, this is Inglewood family, man. This is my Inglewood family. This is my Inglewood family. Listen, Mac 10 bumping in the background. Okay, Inglewood Mac family. 10 is in the background. <laughs> hold on now, show us. Hold down. I got to ask you this. Oh, oh man. Because I know that next year after we put this out there, people are going to want to come here. It shouldn't be. Uh, well, you, you know, got a lot it's of family 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 only, though. This is Inglewood family only. Of course. Of course. I mean, of course. because you can probably get longer to do this. Oh, business. we can? Oh, really? I don't want to do it no bigger. No, it's big enough. What about you, Mr. Short? Big enough. No, big enough. Big enough. The house isn't big enough. My house is Oh no, they like it here because they, like you know, it they got like that little personal homey feeling. You know, it's that that personal feeling. You know, so it's you want to go up in there and get you some peanut butter and jelly? You can go do that. You know what I'm saying? Take you a nap if you want to. You can do that. So, so everybody that's family is welcome. You better believe that. I Family. That's right. ING for life, Phil Shores right. throwing a big <laughs> backyard boogie, oogie, 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 2013, y'all. We'll be right back. I'm Greg, Hi, and Greg. that's my evil genius cameraman. Hi, cameraman. James. Hey, James. Now, we have a James and Greg show, and we only interview the most interesting people of all time. Oh, my God. And so put yourself in that category right now. So, again, you may not know me, but I know you. Okay. And let them know who you are. What's your name, miss? Uh, Girl, Charles Williams. Oh, you had to mention the last class of 79. No, you look like you just graduated from high school. Oh, so you're doing a lot. But thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you were invited to this party, I'd imagine. Oh, yes. Yes. My girls, Diane, Val, we all grew up together in the Avenue of Susan. All of us. You and me, yeah. So you were born, and, and that makes you a Morningside High graduate. That's right. Thank God. Yeah. Are you proud of that? Yes, I am. There's been some successful people come up out of that, that school, I've heard. Absolutely, yeah. We got Byron, as you guys already know. Yeah. And Lisa. What's the basketball? Lisa Leslie. Yeah. Absolutely, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. So. Eldon Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Just to name a few. There's other people that went on to yeah. do big things in other aspects of uh, life. But that's pretty good thing, considering Morningside wasn't looked upon as being one of those high-end schools like exactly. Beverly Hills High, exactly. where my cameraman exactly. here went. Yeah. But uh, or Hollywood High, where he went. Excuse me, people. Let me get it right. Yeah. You know. But it's okay. It's Still all have right. some success coming out of They have you. Yeah. So Susan, right? No, my name is Cheryl. Cheryl. You can say Cheryl. Yes, I did. I said. Cheryl Shaw Williams, and I said my girls, Susan, Julie, Val, Diane, we all grew up, Philip, we all grew up in the avenues together. Now, I'm a very tricky person, people. This is Greg of the James and Greg Show, and that's what we do. Now, I know she grew up on 2nd Avenue off of 104th yes. in Inglewood, so yes. she thinks that I don't know, but I know I you. I told you before we started, I know you, but you don't know me. Anyway, we thank you for coming. Thank Are you, you going to come back next year? Yes, as long as I'm invited and God blesses me to see you another year, I'll be here. Well, you heard. She'll be here, and I'll try my best to be here. If it's bigger, I'll be here. This here is my man Mark McCormick. We call him Mac. He's certified at ING Inglewood, as you all know. Mac 10 and all them other gangsters. But he ain't no gangster. Are you Mark? Nah, I just play ball. He just play some ball. Right <laughs> this is the real Mac 10. You say they call you Mac. Mac 9, Mac 11. Which one are you? Mac 5, Mac 9. Everybody else. <laughs> what was your number on the basketball court? 15. Well, you can't be Mac 15. They don't have one of them. 1 5. <laughs> <laughs> so, what brings you to the party, man? Yeah, 
my boy just getting us all together. It feels good. I like this. Play after 79? Yes, sir. Did you play varsity basketball with B. Scott? Yes, sir. How was that? Incredible. Did you dunk too? No, I tried. <laughs> I can hang on the rim. He can hang on the rim, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I can dunk a volleyball. He can dunk a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Hey, man, so you coming back next year? Yeah. Is it going to be bigger and better? Yeah, always. Always, people, bigger and better, which means I will be there. Hey, this is your boy, Greg L. Glass, with my man, Mark Mack. <laughs> McCormack! Thought I didn't know. I know everything. <laughs> All right, people. As again, uh, as I say, here I am again with my uh, good friend, Long time neighbor, friend. Long time friend. hero, because he's a stuntman, people. He's a stuntman. This is Gus Williams. I know him as Gerard, but in the movie business, you know, he's the one Arnold Schwarzenegger twisted his arm in Terminator. So, G, what brings you to ING or the big backyard boogie oogie, baby? You know, it's always good to come back home and see my people. But uh, my boy's having a little barbecue here, and I missed the last two of them, so I told him I had to be here for this one. Had to be here, like you should be here. But I hear you can't come as you want. You got to be, what, invited? Is this RS RSVP? You know, we've been knowing each other for many, many years. I'm talking about since we was, like, elementary school, junior high school. So it's kind of like a family thing, friend thing. So it's all good. So you just can't look at this video and Google it and then say, I'm going to go. Nah, I doubt it. You might not make it through the back. <laughs> <laughs> might not make it through the back, Gerard. Know about slamming people, man. So yeah, you was in the Butler, huh? Yeah, yeah. We did the Butler down in New Orleans. Uh, good movie. Uh, the actors were great. It looked like it's doing real good in the theater. So hopefully, uh, Lee Daniels do a, uh, another one real soon. He did a good job with this one. So hopefully, do another one soon. He's definitely blown up. His name is big now, man. Now you. Uh, you're getting up in age, man. Yeah, you can't yeah. keep flipping around on stage yeah, and fighting yeah, people, man. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's getting tough. You know, the <laughs> bones ain't like they used to be. So uh, what I do now, I just coordinate mostly and uh, let the younger guys do that kind of stuff, falling on their head for a living and stuff like that. So. But last I talked to you, was working with Tyler Perry. You still working with Tyler? Well, no, no. Tyler got a whole new crew now, but I did his first nine shows uh, when he went to theater. So, uh Good guy gave me a good chance to uh, showcase my thing, and uh, I appreciate that very much. All right, G, check this out, man. What should we look for next from you, man? The Backyard Boogies next year. I know you're going to be here, but between now and then, what should we watch for you on TV for? Well, uh, check out BET a lot. BET's doing a lot of things in Atlanta and uh, doing some good shows, The Game and uh, Mary Jane. Um, they're doing a few things, so BET is hot now in Atlanta. They're doing a lot of filming in Atlanta, so that's a good thing now. Man, go get yourself something to eat. I know you like to eat, because I know you. I know your mama. <laughs> I remember your daddy driving the Volkswagen. <laughs> I know you can eat, boy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, go get yourself something to eat, man. This is Gus Williams, y'all. Look for him. If you want to do stunts, look him up. Look at his website. What's your website, man? Oh, no, I don't have a website yet. Just go. Uh, you could Google me at Gus Williams or IMDB me. And uh, check out my stuff. So, check out his stuff. We ain't playing the best interviews of all time, baby. Mm.